Okay, I uh, just figured I would uh, do this because uh, this uh, low class A uh, low power digital TV station, which basically means uh, class A means it still gets to have a little bit more power than uh, a regular low power station. Uh, their transmitter is just down the street from me, and uh, they have a total of six channels running on channel eight. It's actually UHF, I think, 50 something, but I don't know exactly off the top of my head. Anyway, um, f uh, since they've got been on, they've been carrying uh, nothing but infomercials on one of the channels, you know, paid programming. Uh, basically half hour commercials and it's usually uh, either beauty products or household gadgets or stuff uh, anyway uh, that was they were bouncing that around that's been on channel 8.5 for a while but uh, channels 8.2 and 8.4 were uh, broadcasting just black screen for a long time uh, 8.4 they finally got programming back on uh, yesterday but guess what it's yet another uh, all infomercials network. Uh, put the info on here. It's apparently called Shop Now. And they're showing the Cindy Crawford Beauty Secrets thing, which uh, seems to be on a lot. Uh, let me switch over to 8.5. And this is the Wise Buy network. And their sound is usually a little uh, too high. They're a lot louder than the other stations. Uh, but anyway, this uh, the other channel, 8.4, was running this one last night. And now we get to see it again tonight on this. So we've got two sub-channels on the same station showing infomercials 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And if that's not enough, um, let me flip over to... Uh, damn it. Uh, 29.4, channel 2 is not coming in tonight because they're too far away, but uh, 29.4, uh, that's apparently called Shop TV, they usually ID that as, and uh, uh, this is an Ion uh, TV station, apparently all of their stations have picked this up as well. Um, and anyway, we're on 29.4 right now, and they are also showing the Cindy Crawford Beauty Secrets infomercial. They're just a few seconds behind the other one. Let's flip back and forth, shall we? Let's go to 8.4 again. And there's Cindy. That guy. Let's flip back to 29.4. And we're just a few seconds behind the other channel. So yeah, and and we're not even talking about uh, 3 a.m. or anything. It's uh, 9:30 at night right now, prime time, and we've got three over-the-air stations. I don't have cable for uh, enough reasons that I could fill up the entire internet explaining why. But this is uh, over-the-air TV, supposedly operating in the public interest, and we've got three channels showing advertising. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And the funny thing is, uh, considering how unwatchable a lot of the networks are with all the clutter on the screen that makes a lot of their shows unwatchable, I actually don't, uh, I'm, I'm not as opposed to this as I am to what they're doing. But still, you think, you know, they, uh, they, they say there's limited space for TV channels, and that's why some have to only be on cable, and uh, why they can't put every single thing that you would want to see over the air. But yet, we have enough uh, airspace for three constant networks of infomercials. And I don't even know who the hell buys any of this stuff anyway. I mean, this mop thing looks kind of cool, but the bucket is so strong, it can't but I would, and I got to turn the volume down because that again, this uh, this channel uh, has their sound level a little too high. Uh, yeah, this 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 mop thing looks kind of cool, but I wouldn't sit here for a half an hour watching a show about it intentionally when there's hundreds of other things I could be doing, and I don't know. So. What, what do you th what do you think? This is in Sacramento, California. Uh, I assume any area that has an ion TV station will at least have the shop network on that now. Uh, but anyway, if you live somewhere else uh, and you get over the air TV, uh, just let me know how many stations do you have that show nothing but infomercials? 
Oh, and that you know that educational programming requirement. Uh, supposedly, the FCC requires a certain. I think it's three hours a week of uh, children's educational programming, and at least some kind of news or public affairs programming. We've got a low power station that runs the Home Shopping Network, but they at least uh, run the news. Uh, they're actually they're owned by the Spanish, the Univision company, and. They own this low power station that runs Home Shopping Network, but uh, Saturday nights in the middle of the night, they will break away from that to run the news in Spanish, and it's usually a few days old, but, you know, at least it's not all home shopping. But I've never seen any of that on, on these channels. In fact, uh, on uh, on the Wise Buy channel, I've never even seen them show a legal station ID, which I think is against FCC regulations. They're supposed to do that once an hour. So... Anyway, uh, would like to know how prevalent this is in other areas, and uh, you know, it would just be nice if there's you know there's room for this. If uh, we could have you know at least at least you know a few more channels that show something good that I would like to see, you know, uh, MTV, something real real MTV, not uh, the way you know music, and I don't know, and almost anything would be would be uh, more preferable than this. I mean, I assume I assume uh, the companies are releasing these channels, so basically whoever owns this station... Oh, and I didn't want to switch to there. Oh, oh, and uh, separate ramp, by the way. This is a PBS station, and they have a station logo on the screen now, as if, you know, you'd think viewers of public TV would be smart enough to know what channel they're watching. But anyway, I'm not talking, talking about that right now, this whole, whole other topic. Uh, Back to Cindy here. Um, yeah, so, you know, they, uh, well, what, what can I say? You know, li limited channel space, yet we have room for three uh, networks of infomercials. And, you know, I'm, uh, this this little station especially is probably getting paid for uh, the two that they're running. But still, you know, it's public airwaves. Whatever happened to the public interest? Anyway, uh, that's about all I have to say about that. But let just just for uh, one one last time before I go, let's go through these again. Let's go to 8.4, which just went on the air last night. Okay, we got Cindy's infomercial. 8.5, we got the mop thingy, and then 29.4, the ion station, and they are showing the same. I mean, come on, they could at least be showing a different infomercial. And, uh, I don't know, I've talked too long for this. Anyway, anyway, that, that, that's it.